let us look at this question which is again <clears throat> an excellent question uh, on the topic of coordinate geometry so the question is like this uh, find the equation of the line of symmetry of a triangle with vertices uh, x 6 comma 2 y 3 comma this is comma 3 comma negative 2 and y uh, sorry this should be negative 4 okay so this is y is 3 comma negative 4 and z is minus 4 comma 3.25 I've plotted the points so this is your x which is 6 comma 2 okay your y is 3 comma negative 4 and z is 3 comma minus 4 comma 3.25 now to explain the line of symmetry let me draw a triangle now this is an equilateral triangle okay suppose yeah okay this is a triangle now to draw the line of a line of symmetry is a line which cuts the triangle into two equal parts so if I draw a perpendicular bisector like this suppose a perpendicular bisector is a line which doesn't necessarily pass through the vertex but here in this case it is passing through the vertex so this is triangle ABC okay and this is a perpendicular bisector because this is passing through the midpoint so this point if you measure it so these two are suppose M is the midpoint and and at M this line is forming a right angle so this is a right angle so you can understand symmetry so these two triangles so if you if you flap this side uh, onto this so this will um, look like one same triangle so in other words these two triangles are identical okay if you uh, this is a under, un, uh, consider this as a mirror line if you consider this as a mirror line these two triangles are uh, equal okay so this is a line of so a line of symmetry of a triangle should be a line which is passing through a vertex and is also a perpendicular bisector so then you can say this triangle this line which is a perpendicular bisector now it's called perpendicular bisector the word itself there are two words one is it should be perpendicular and it should bisect the side opposite to A. Suppose this is the side opposite to A. So this line is perpendicular bisect is passing through A and is bisecting BC. So if these three, if it has these three characteristics, then you can say this is the line of symmetry of the triangle. Now in this triangle, this is not as neat as this triangle. So you have to find, make a guess of a line which would exactly pass through one of the vertex and pass through the midpoint and also becomes a perpendicular bisector so let us make say guesses here so let's first the perpendicular bisector has to pass through the midpoint so first an easy midpoint so to find the midpoint of x y you add the x intercepts sorry x coordinates so 6 plus 6 plus 3 is 9 and 9 divided by 2 is 4.5 so your 4.5 sorry 6 divided by yeah, 6 plus 3 is 9 yeah and divided by 2 is 4.5 so 4.5 comes somewhere here okay now to find the y coordinate is 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 so this is your negative one so the midpoint is this point okay so this is the but let us call that m which is the midpoint and the coordinate is 4.5 comma uh, negative one so what's the midpoint of this you add the x-intercepts so x coordinate i keep saying x-intercept so negative four plus six is two two divided by two is one so this is the midpoint okay so this is a neat point so this is one comma 3.5 so let me use a calculator 
I'm a bit tired now. So 3.25 plus 2. That is 5.25 divided by 2 is 2.625. Am I right? So this look, looks like 2.625. Yeah, that's fine. So this is 1 comma 2.625. And the midpoint of this would be somewhere here. Uh, I'm making a guess. So minus 4 plus 3 is minus 4 plus 3 is negative 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. So this is 0 0.5. So midpoint comes somewhere here. So this is say my N. And so this is my O. And the coordinate would be uh, this is 0 minus 0 0.5 or minus half. Let me write minus 0 0.5. Oops, yeah. So this coordinate will be 0 0.5, comma. To find the y coordinate, I'll use the calculator. So that is 3.25 plus negative 4, which is, and then you divide by 2, which is negative 0 0.375. So negative 0 0.375. Now, if you draw a perpendicular, so as I said, the, the uh, the line of symmetry of the triangle should be a line which is passing through a vertex and is also the perpendicular bisector of the opposite side. So I'm making a guess if I draw a perpendicular from Z to XY, it will pass through the midpoint. I'm making a guess. I have to prove it. First, what I'm going to do is I'll have to find it's a good guess. So it's or you could do all the three sides, find the perpendicular bisector of all the three sides. And here I'm making a guess, a good guess is this seems to be perpendicular, it's passing through the midpoint, it's also passing through the vertex. First we'll have to find the equation of this line, okay, and then show that on this line this point does lie. Okay, now to find the equation of this line. You have to first find the equation of xy. So let me find the equation of xy for which we'll have to find the gradient of xy. So I'll write like this. mxy is rise over run. So rise is from minus 4. I'm going from y to x. So it's minus 4 to 2. Minus 4 to 2. There's a rise of 6. And what's the run? Run from 3 to 6 which is 3. So the gradient is 2. Okay, so the equation, so let me write equation of xy. Okay, so you're using the gradient intercept formula. So y is equal to 2x plus c. Now I can put either x or y into this equation. So I know on this line, when x is 6, y is 2. So let me put this in this equation. So this becomes 2 is equal to 12 plus C. How did I get a 12? The 2 times 6 is 12. And if you, I hope you understand C would be negative 10. And it does make sense. The y intercept does make sense. If you extend this, this will cross the y axis at somewhere at negative 10. So the equation, I can say y is equal to 2x minus 10. So that's the equation of xy. This is the equation of xy. Okay, line segment xy. So and so equation of now we are find we want to find the equation. Uh, we didn't even need to find the equation of xy where if we had only found the gradient that would have been good. So this is important so you can ignore this. So we'll find, now we want to find the equation of, equation of Zm, okay, equation of Zm. Now, uh, I can say our xy is perpendicular to xm, which implies gradient of xy times, okay, I'll put the dot in algebra, it's good, good to put the dot because the x's will confuse. So xy, gradient of xy times the gradient of xm is negative 1. 
as if say two lines are perpendicular the product of gradient is negative 1 so I can say therefore m of x m would be negative 1 half why because 2 times negative half gives you negative 1 okay so equation of equation of z m or z m would be y I'm trying to finish it off soon so y is equal to negative half x plus c okay now which point can i put here i can put this point of 4.5 negative 1 okay so i know i'm not sure about this but i'm making a guess but i surely know that this line is passing through the midpoint of x y so when x is 4.5 y is negative 1 so let me change color so i can say when x is 4.5 y is negative 1 so negative 1 is minus half times 4.5 plus c so negative 1 is half of 4.5 is negative 2.25 plus c so minus 1 plus 2.25 is equal to c which implies c is 1.25 so let me write the equation of c equation of z m am i right equation of cm is y is equal to uh, equation of zm i should not write to equal to so y is equal to negative half x plus 1.25 that's what i'm saying now to show that this is a uh, line of symmetry i have to show that this passes through uh, this point okay so if you can save so when x is minus 4 minus 4 y should be 3.25 so i'll use the calculator you can do without the calculator but i want to finish it off soon so let me graph the equation <coughs> so let us go to graph and type in this equation of my so minus 0 0.5 so i can write minus 0 0.5 x plus 1.25 Okay, and then draw it, and then you go G solve. Uh, when you want to find y calc, when x is what was the value of x? So I forgot that. So it's always good to show when x is negative four. When x is negative four, what's y? So there we go. When x is negative four, y is three point two five because, and that's what the graph tells me that this line or this point lies on this line okay so we can say now now when x is equal to when x is negative 4 when x let me write that better when x is equal to negative 4 y is equal to Mm, I keep forgetting the values. When x is negative 4, y is minus 3.25, which implies that z lies on the perpendicular bisector of xy, of line segment xy. Therefore, I can say that line x xm is uh, the line of symmetry is the line of symmetry of triangle a sorry x y 